Well, I'm TJ back again, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a super hot tincture. So, what is a tincture? They will, I'm going to show you. This is a tincture, and this is all I can get in the UK, which is ridiculous. It's uh, a cayenne pepper tincture, uh, and it's about 90,000 Scoville units, which is it's hot, it's okay. Um, but the thing with a tincture is, it, you know, uh, like an extract, it's got lots of health benefits. You know, people take it for different things, weight loss and, you know, a good kind to your heart. And it go, the list goes on, you'd have to Google it. I'm not going to go into that right now. So, alcohol based, all right? The difference between this and an extract, although this is an extract, this is alcohol based, whereas an extract would be uh, a non alcohol based which would be mixed with something like vinegar, water, glycerin, something like that, or a mixture of all of them. This is purely alcohol. You can dilute the tincture, um, but I'm going to make mine with pure alcohol. Um, so what you would get is a tincture, and if I undo it, you'll be in a dropper bowl like this, and there's your tincture. There's my cayenne tincture. Uh, uh, I'm going to put a bit on my tongue. You, you should like dilute, if you're going to use it for health uh, purposes and stuff like that, dilute it with water. Um, but any alcohol, chili head, will just do a few drops on the tongue. Like that. And, ooh, even for 90,000 Scoville units, it's going to do your system good. Whoa, it's hot doesn't taste particularly uh, nice but it is a damn sight easier to take than a um, extract extracts are absolutely disgusting I would I would go for the tincture all day long so now I feel like uh, Superman on crystal meth and it's completely legal and it's good for your body okay so I'm gonna make the tincture Notice the red eyes I've got now. I've been sneezing for about the last 20 minutes because I've just ground up this little lot here. Okay. There's about 120, 130 peppers that I've flaked there. All right. Let's put this there in shot. I want to show you what peppers that I did put in it. So I have. And these are what I grew last year and I dehydrated. I am going to do a, uh, a dehydration video with this year's crop uh, and show you the process of dehydration and what you can do with them and this and the other. So this one is uh, Purple Ghost. It's dehydrated. Purple Ghost. Probably put about 10, between 10 to 15 peppers um, from each bag and ground them all up together. So that's gonna be a super duper uh, tincture. This is the Yellow Ghost. I grew this last year. Dehydrated. We didn't dehydrate and they wouldn't last. I either freeze them or, or dehydrate them um, and do different things for them. The frozen ones I use for cooking. And these I use for making powders and flakes and mucking about with them like making tinctures. And then one of the really hot ones I've got here. Let's find a good example. It's the Butch Tea Yellow. So now we're sort of like hitting about 1.3, 1.4 scope, maybe 1.2. Getting a bit hotter. Put the yellow, and then probably the hottest one of the bunch here would be the Butch Tea Chocolate. I could have found you a better example to show you, but anyway, who cares? It's just a blooming dry pepper. Butch Tea Chocolate is probably there, probably eating about 1.4 to 1.6 million Scoville heat units. That is. Um, and then, what else we've got there? It's been done. 
Then we've got my favourite I grew last year for flavour purposes, as well as a bit of heat. These are back 375,000 Scovilles. This is the yellow Fatali. It was the best pepper of my crop last year. Okay, let's get on with it. And then last but not least, I grew about four Komodo dragon plants last year and one of them was obviously cross contaminated somehow. We don't know what with, I can only think maybe uh, Narva because I grew so many ghost peppers last year and they came out like a peach color. So me and Chris named them the peach dragon, which Chris is growing fresh this year I've only got dehydrated at the moment because I didn't want to give anyone false information about what I crossed them with because it's an accident. It's not a, you know, I'll show you next year when I when I go through my next um, crop next year how to do it properly, you know, um, and isolate the pepper and this, that and the other so you know um, what you've crossed it with. Um, because it, it, it takes a long time to stabilise a pepper. I mean, this is just an accident. That's how the Carolina Reaper was uh, formed. Do you know that? It was an accident. It was a habanero mixed with a ghost pepper. And that popped a Carolina Reaper. But you obviously had them isolated. He knew what it was crossed with. Um, it takes about eight years to stabilise a pepper, you know. Right, I know this is dragging on a bit. This is purely educational, so got all my peppers here, about 120, 130 of those peppers all ground up and mixed up, okay, and all I'm going to do is this, so I've got this uh, snazzy little jar here, I've seen the like, American videos with these, it's got like a ring and a lid, it closes down on, there's a one litre jar and the highest alcohol I could get in the UK well I think there is one or two others that are higher but this is like to get off the supermarket shelf or off Amazon where I got it from it was a uh, Ray and Nephew I believe overproof rum now this if I turn the bottle round is Pull that back a bit. Whoop. Right. This is uh, 63% volume. So if you double it, 126 proof alcohol. And we can get this legally in the UK. So we're not doing anything wrong. All right. Okay. And because mine is not going to be diluted, it's going to be pure alcohol. We're going to go straight in with the alcohol. Hopefully I've got enough here to show you. It's actually got a dropper. So I'm gonna put this down here. You can see it going in. So it's a bit slow. It would do with an alcohol this uh, sort of percentage. I wouldn't advise actually drinking it. Let's get as much out of there as you can. It may not be enough, to be honest. No, it looks like it will be. That's a point. Only had half a bottle left. So now we've stopped. And as you can see, I am gonna to have to get another bottle of this Ray and Nephew this week. We are just about level with the top of those peppers there. I would go about an inch above maybe, um, just to allow more alcohol to soak into the peppers because that will Reduce. This blooming camera pick up my face, and I'll show you a bit of uh, focus here. But as you can see, a lot of very strong alcohol, a lot of very strong peppers. Now all we're going to do is put the lid on it, screw it up nice and tight, and we're going to leave that. For six weeks, when I get some more alcohol, I will top it up a little bit more because that's going to soak into the peppers and reduce a bit. So, we're going to go a little bit above, okay? 
and then we'll get more tincture out of it, won't we? Uh, we're going to leave it for six weeks and then I'm going to drain this off into a, a little sieve and mash the peppers, get as much tincture out of it as possible um, and then I'm going to put this the uh, tincture back into the jar, scrape the mashed up peppers back into it as well so it's all back together again and perhaps top it off with a little bit more alcohol and then put it aside for another two weeks then our tincture is ready and then we'll just drain it off, bash it again, discard the peppers and we're going to put the tincture in these little dropper bottles here and like I said, a couple of drops of this. Oh boy, blow your head off, honestly. So, uh, yep, and you're fully invincible, I promise you that. So that's how I make my tincture, okay? I did uh, nick a couple of ideas off of the internet. Um, Chili Eds, they do their own thing in there, and uh, I like the way this is, it's nice and simple easy and it's going to turn into something absolutely amazing right you like the videos like share subscribe i hope that was educational to you what i will say to you is if uh, you do start messing about with dry peppers and that like this and our whole make sure you wear gloves i have just been for a number one i'm not in a good place at the moment that's all i'm going to say about that one um you know and uh, because these things are no joke okay like, share, subscribe. I'll be your best friend. Leave a comment in the comments box. And um, we're going to come back to this in six weeks' time and do part two of my super hot tincture video. Okay. I'm TJ Burns. Thank you.